can't believe you got tickets to Hamilton. How'd you even afford them? Yeah. It was easy. All I had to do was advertise for some weird mobile game in this video. Do you wish you were a gnome? Or maybe like two gnomes. Or maybe like three gnomes. There are already three there. Or maybe like 17 gnomes. Then play Gnome Legend. <laughs> gnome, 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 gnome. Are we gonna acknowledge this or just keep the video going? Eh, just ignore it. Ugh, how much longer are we gonna have to wait here? I have to go to the party! I know! This is taking forever! Are all these people really waiting to see Alexander's sandwiches? Andy, it's not Alexander's sandwiches, it's Alexander Hamilton. He was the first Secretary of the Treasury in the United States and he actually lived a pretty cool life. Excuse me, sir. Yes, my babushka? What? Are you here to see Alexander Hamilton or Alexander Sandwiches? Sandwiches? Are you really going to believe him? He calls hands paws. Yeah. Besides, it's going to be a while till we get in there anyway. Oh no. A while? Hey, robot lady, any chance you know another way into this place? Yes, sir. Well, there is a small vent you could... Hey, where'd he go? Well, this seems totally safe. So, besides inventing the sandwich, what did this guy even do? Well, in order to know that, we need to learn the history of Alexander Hamilton. Wait a second. Where's Steve? Come out to the coast. We'll see Hamilton and have a few laughs. Hamilton was known for being incredibly smart and hardworking. Unlike other founding fathers, he came from nothing and had a hard life. He wasn't born with money, land, or power. He started from the bottom and quickly worked his way up to the top, becoming one of the most important men in American history. He was born between the years 1755 and 1757 on the Caribbean island of Nevis. His father, James Hamilton, was a Scottish businessman who moved to the Caribbean to make some money. His mother was Rachel Fawcett. She was already married, but left her husband to be with James. Leave that dude. He smelled like tuna fish. What? Together, they had two sons, James Hamilton Jr. and, of course, Alexander. As a child, it is said that he had a passion for reading and had a crazy thirst for knowledge. You guys gotta check out this book. It smells like tuna fish. What? Huh. I thought you said this dude had a hard life. Yeah. He lived on an island. What, did he sunburn easily or something? No. Yeah, or maybe he got a bad haircut. No. No, his dad left him, his mom died, his cousin died, and his entire home was destroyed by a hurricane. I, uh, I'm gonna go call my mom. Tell her I love her. <laughs> Me too. Hi, Mom. We miss you. By 1765, Alexander's dad left the island and abandoned his family. Shortly after, in 1767, when Alexander was about 11 years old, he and his mom became sick. Alex recovered, but before long, his mom passed away. For the next few years, Alexander and his brother suffered loss after loss, as their cousin, who became their guardian, also passed away. Just when things couldn't get any worse, a few years later, in August 1772, a hurricane destroyed Hamilton's home. But rather than crying or breaking down, he read. How did they get these bumps on the cover? And read some more. Ooh, I found a hidden paintbrush. And when he was finished, he read some more. And when he was finished with that, he read some more. I wonder if there's any gluten in this thing. Eventually, Alexander picked up a pen and began to write about the hurricane and how it affected his homeland. Dear Mr. Hurricane, my hand is not moving at all, but there is still that weird pencil sound as if I am writing. What? The letter he wrote inspired the residents of the island where Hamilton lived to put all their money together for a scholarship to send him to the future United States of America to get an education. Here you go, Alexander Sandwiches. 
Tell George washing machine I said, what's up? Huh? So, like many immigrants, he came to America in search of a better life. But he also wanted to make a difference. But he just needed a chance to prove himself. At only 15 years old, Hamilton enrolled in the Elizabethtown Academy in New Jersey to prepare himself for college. Next, he enrolled at what is today's Columbia University, where he studied things like math, medicine, and law. He did really well in school, but struggled with math. To catch up, Hamilton hired a private tutor who worked with him on his math skills. Subtract the three, carry the two, and that equals macaroni and cheese and pattern. What? Not only did he improve in math, he also became an incredible writer. But before long, the opportunity to prove himself came in the form of a massive war. The American Revolution. This was Redcoats versus Blue. King George III versus George Washington I. America versus Great Britain. Mayonnaise versus mustard. Hot dogs versus hamburgers. Star Wars versus Star Trek. Cats versus dogs. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What? I thought we were just saying things we'd like to see fight. I'm sorry. Carry on. In March of 1776, Hamilton left college to serve as a captain in the military. Hamilton's smarts and skills in battle quickly caught the attention of his superiors. Wow, this Hamilton guy's pretty good. Okay, but does he have snake eyes? Where did you even find those? Hot topic. I got him on sale. What? And in January of 1777, a famous general and the soon-to-be first president of the United States asked him to serve by his side. George Washing Machine. You're still calling him that? That was like 10 videos ago. I did? Strange. I don't recall that at all. What? Oh well. Tell me more about the adventures of Alexander Sandwiches and George Washing Machine. Hamilton became Washington's right-hand man, and George became more and more reliant on Alexander's talents. The two were inseparable until February of 1781, when Hamilton left Washington's side to return to battle. Hey, real quick, real quick, real quick. Give me a hug. What? Hamilton was given command of an infantry in the famous Battle of Yorktown, where he led an attack that eventually caused the British to surrender and America to win their freedom. I know what you're probably thinking, dude. What is my horse looking at right now? Newspapers around the country all wrote of Hamilton's bravery. After all this time, his success in battle gave him the fame that he always craved. Eventually, Hamilton left the army again to return to his wife, Elizabeth Schuyler, in New York, where he began to study law. After long, he became an accomplished lawyer. <laughs> this courtroom smells like tuna fish. Huh? The end. Not exactly. This is before America was America, and Hamilton was helping to make the country what it is today. In 1781, he was a New York delegate to the Constitutional Convention, where he helped frame the U.S. Constitution and create the type of government we have today. But after the Constitution was written, he, along with James Madison and John Jay, wrote what became known as the Federalist Papers, a series of essays that explained why the new Constitution would be good for the new United States. Shortly after, George Washington was chosen to be the first president of the United States. What's this word? You. What about this word? R. What about this word? The. What about this word? First. Oh. What about this word? President. And he called on his good friend and former right-hand man to join him at his side as the first secretary of the treasury. You're my best friend. No. As treasury secretary, Alexander did a lot of great stuff, like establishing the U.S. Mint, introducing the country's first tax on one of their products, and establishing the National Bank of the United States. All these things helped make America a powerhouse, but it also created some enemies for Hamilton. Thomas Jefferson and James Madison. Tommy Jeffs? I know him! What? Come on, Tommy Jeffs? You have no idea who he is. Yes, I do. He was the third president, author of the Declaration of Independence, and a stunning redhead. Okay, you're actually right, but oh, the line's moving. I'll tell you more inside. Jefferson kept a close eye on Hamilton and eventually made him pay the price. 
as he exposed some bad things he had done to the public. Rather than denying it, lying, or blaming someone else, Hamilton wrote a 95-page paper owning up to what he did. Imagine you got caught cheating on a test and wrote a 95-page paper explaining why you did it. What? Man, this guy's got guts. Yeah. Eh, I'm sorry. Carry on. Fast forward to the election of 1800. There's a tie between your buddy Tommy Jeffs and another person who didn't like Hamilton, Aaron Burr. So the choice went to the House of Representatives. This is where Hamilton came in. Even though he didn't like Jefferson, he really hated Burr. So he was like, Listen, I got two things to say to y'all right now. Number one, Aaron Burr stinks, vote for Tommy Jeffs. Number two, try to find me in my secret hiding spot. And they actually listened to him. And Thomas Jefferson, I mean Tommy Jeffs, became the third president of the United States. This Burr dude must have been angry. I bet you he got payback on Hamilton. What did he do? Tie his shoes together? No. Something much, much worse. Later, Burr entered the race for governor of New York and lost. He blamed Hamilton, who apparently made it a point to tell people Burr was dangerous and couldn't be trusted. Burr was like, Hey, Hamilton, take back all that mean stuff you said. And Hamilton was like, No. And Burr was like, Seriously, dude, take it back, it's mean. But Hamilton was like, mm, No. This led to their famous duel. During that time, it was common for two men to settle their problems this way. So on July 11th, 1804, they faced each other in Weehawken, New Jersey. This was the same spot where Hamilton's son died in a duel a few years earlier. Hamilton examined his weapon and the terrain. The men took 10 paces and turned. But rather than shooting Burr, it's rumored that Hamilton wasted his shot on purpose and fired his bullet away from Burr. Many believe that Hamilton missed on purpose because he thought duels were morally wrong. But Burr didn't miss. Hamilton was shot in the stomach, and shortly after, he died. Hamilton was survived by his seven children and his wife, Eliza, who helped honor her husband by opening New York's first private orphanage. Today, Hamilton is buried alongside his wife in Trinity Church in New York, two miles away from where the famous musical was first shown. Here we go, it's about to start. Wait a second, where's Steve? Did I miss anything? Shh, the play's about to start. What are pants? Who is pants? When is pants? Where is pants? Why is pants? How is pants? What is what is pants? What is what is pants? That don't make no sense. What is what is pants? What is what is pants? Pants is longer shorts. That's it. I just figured it out. I'm the smartest kid. What is pants? What is pants? What is what is pants? What is what is pants? What are all your plans? What is what is pants? Pants. What is what is pants? Pants. What is what is pants? Hey guys, thanks for watching. As always, this video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon, especially Evan Gray, Kate and Sarah, Wyatt Michelle, Avery L, Jameson and Nolan, Penny, Emma Priestley, Lennon McCartney Jones, Paige, Avalon and Cash, Anera and Alice, Vivi and Jojo Roche, Renko, Kostya and Yaro, Brenton and Cosette, Dora and Levi, Isabella Corsiglia, Amelia Murray, Rebecca and Sarah F. from Pennsylvania, The Rivard Boys, Zeno the Shark, Asher Jacobson, Amelia and Alan Mills, Will, James, and Christian Reynolds, Nina and Santino, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Mrs. Esslinger's third grade class, Charlie, Iris, Henry, and Peanut, Matthew and Nathan Spellman, Henry and Marion Carson, Arthur Watson, Matthew and James Mondiello, Mr. Nicholas, 
Gavin Moore and Paige Lawton, Aiden Swift, Jackson Wright, Lillian Hansen Hudraj, Kelly B, Rory Primrose, Thomas and Lucas V, Lily, Patrick and Marina, Darian Calvin, James Berg, Pfeiffer the Third, Dally and Scarlett Lewis, Creative Devin and Zach T, The Peterson Pack, Kara and Michael, Huxley Ophelia Clem Laid Fairy Scientist, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Sean Fidelli, Asher S, Nora Close, Aiden Fenway Riley, Maxwell M, Simon, Natalie, and Liam McNulty, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Gavin Meidel, Mason and Nora, Gwen, Iggy, Elowin, and Addie, Felix and Casper Watson-Smith, Ada S, Ronan X, and Raiden Z, Nakia Swift, GC, Annie and David in Pennsylvania, Alex and Bella, Grayson Kristoff, Blazin Richard, Dean Bartholomew, Isley and Jude Siegel, Aiden Mulvey, Davin Kimothy, Fred and Tio, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher, Leif, Anderson, Miller, Cruz Gomez, Krusty Face, Aria and Kieran, Kai Kim, Abby P, Austin P, and Ryan P, Wesley C, Max, Xander and Lucinda, Henry Pavelko, Oscar and Jake Hat, Jack and Grant Reed, Jack and Colt Skinner, Ethan Grainer, Buddy Deese, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Elijah Robert, Riker Y, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Jack and Easton Hess, Harry, Grant and Amelia, Zach and Evie Clark, Dean Scandalakis, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Nadia and Hannah, Sophie, Becky, and Rob Jenkins, Ellie, Jack, and Bobby Griffin, Maxwell Rummins, Aiton Judah, Charles and Olivia, Rebecca Beanie, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Evan, Bristol, and John Beecher, Ari, aka R Tank, David Beckham and Isaac Scranton, Rory, Porter, Isaac, and Wesley Pierce, Marlene Lennon, Kimsey, Leah and Gavin Clark, Evan Lee, Connor and Emma B, Levi and Trevor Dwyer, Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Dom and Ollie, Jordan Montgomery, and Max R. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. It's black and has a hashtag symbol before it. If you find it, you can get discounts on cool stuff from my Teespring store like this shirt, and this shirt, and this pillow. Check the description box for a link. And last, test your Alexander Hamilton knowledge with my Alexander Hamilton quiz on my Teachers Pay Teacher site. I have a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets for my other videos there too. As always, check the description box for a link.